Bonjour, bonjour. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can add your own custom options to a Shopify product page, to any Shopify product page. It's pretty simple. We already made a video about this, but it was for the debut team. So now we're making an updated video for the Dom team. And actually with this video, I partnered with Hey Carson. They specialize in small jobs just like this. So if you have any issues, reach out to them. They'll do it for a small fee. And they kind of helped me uh, with the code here because I was running short on time. So anyway, let's just jump straight into it. All right, so we are on our back end here. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to online store and themes, obviously, because that's what we will be modifying. I still have my debut team life here, but I have a updated copy of the Dawn team because, you know, I'm, I'm jigging with it. It's 2022, you need to get that Dawn team. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, we are going to duplicate this. The reason why is we're gonna be playing inside the code and if you make an error inside of it, you can't really revert it or it's pretty hard. Well, if you have a duplicate version, you just delete the version where you have an error on. I still see in the comments people that skip this step and you're in big trouble when that happens. Um, so make sure to do a copy, that way you can mess up the copy as much as you want. While this is loading, it's important to know that I actually partnered with Hey Carson for this video. They specialize in small jobs, which we don't do at our agency. And so if you're running into any issues, you can reach out to them and for a small fee, they will actually help you uh, set up your product options. If for some reason this wouldn't work, you can also ask comments, um, ask in the comments below, ask comments in the comments below. Just ask in the comments below and you know, um, maybe other Shopify people will help you out or if I have some time, I'll be glad to answer any questions. This is taking longer than I expected. You'll find the entire code in the link down below. So in case you just don't wanna you know, type, you can just go to the link down below. Okay, so once we have that duplicate, we are going to go to customize and we are going to create a second product template. The reason is, you know, you might not want your custom product options to be on every single product page. Your necklace that you're selling might have custom engravery, so you need those custom product options on there, but you know, the shoes that you sell don't, so you wanna keep that on the regular template that you currently have. And with Dawn, we can actually just create a template directly in the customizer, which is kind, kind of cool. So in order to create that new template, we're just gonna go to the homepage right here, and we're gonna go to products, and then there's going to be an option to create a new template. And we're gonna name this custom that, oh, custom, that way we have um, our custom template. It also asks us, hey, what template do you want to base this on? Um, we only have one current product template, so it's going to be the default. Um, if you have multiple with different designs or layouts, you can choose the one that fits you best. So we're gonna create that template. All right, now we have to modify the code for that template. Okay, so we're gonna go back now and pop, pop, pop. we're going to click on actions on the same where we just duplicated it and we're gonna go to edit code. Um, so now it becomes the real coding. Again, if you don't wanna type along, just link in the description below has the exact code. We're gonna type in products right here and it's going to be main product section. This is where we're going to add our code. Once you have that open, you're going to look for your product form. Now, what is the product form? And let me see if I can show it to you. The product form is that little, you know, area right here. Um, let me show you. This is the product form. You know, it's, it's technically a form because there is a submit button. We call it the buy now button in e-commerce, but this is a product form. And we want to add our product options, the custom options that you're gonna code. We want to add them somewhere in here. So we gotta find this section on, um, you know, in the code. For that, we do control find, and we type in form, uh, command find on an F, control find on Windows. It is not that form that we want. Okay, so we're looking for form, and it is actually right here in the updated version. It's, you know, line 419. I think in the previous Dawn version, it was line 405. Uh, it really changes. If you made any customization, it can be a completely different line. But what it basically says is here, it's the form with the product ID. So this is the section we are looking for. 
So between the definition of form and the input, we're gonna, you know, create a couple of spaces. As you know, spacing doesn't matter. So the next step would be to show the actual custom, you know, code section where you require your client's input. Now, again, you don't wanna show this on every single page. So we have to give the code a way to say, well, which template are we currently looking at? That's why we're going to write an if statement that says, well, if it is the template called custom template, which we created a little bit earlier in this video, then show the custom code that we will create. If not, just ignore this section and keep going because there doesn't need to be any custom code. So I have already written this and well, actually the team at Hey Carson has already written this. Uh, and so I'm just going to copy and paste it. Again, you can find a more information about that down below. And if you're stuck, they do it for you for a small fee and they're really good at it. Okay, just one quick note. Again, this says if the product dash template suffix is equal to, and in the code it might say, I might already have changed it, but it says customizable. This is the title of how we named our new template a little bit earlier. Now I named it custom. You remember if you go back into this video, we created a new template and I called it custom. You can see it here, by the way. If you had called it custom product, that's absolutely awesome. Then you have to write here between the brackets, custom product, that's absolutely awesome. So this is the name of your template. And then of course we close our if statements with an end if. Good procedure is to save. And then the next step would be to actually have the code for the customizer. So, you know, do you want a form? Do you want a button? Hmm, that's kind of up to you. And for that, we're going to go to the link again in the description down below. Um, and you can kind of set your, decide what you want. So I want a text short, I want a text long. You know, I want them to write their initials. I want them to write a love letter that I can print on a, on a t-shirt, I don't know, I want radio buttons, I want a drop-down selection, or I want a checkbox. Those are kind of your options. And you can, you know, name your form field, you can do the options, because I did radio buttons, so I can do blue, red, green, like that, uh, with a comma. And I can decide whether or not this is required for checkout, yes or no. That's kind of up to you. Um, sure, let's make it required. And whatever you choose, whatever combination you choose here, you're going to see that right here, it generates a specific piece of code. And that's the piece of code that we need. So I'm going to copy this right here and obviously put it in our code. Now back in the code, you're going to realize that, as I said earlier, we are checking whether or not the name of the template that code is currently loading is called custom. And if it is, then we're not really doing anything. It's just blank. And we just say, well, if it is, end the if. And if it's not, end the if as well. So the, the code that we have just gotten right here, we need to add that. And we need to add that between our if statement. So I'm going to paste that right here. Boom. Now, I personally like to decline it. There we go. So now it basically says, well, okay, we're going to load the product page. And while you're loading the product page, check if the name of the product template is equal to custom. If it is equal to custom, yes, then show all of this code. And if it's not, then just ignore all of this and keep doing your thing. Okay, now I personally like to comment my code. Um, code for custom product options. This is to me just good practice in case another developer walks in here because I got hit by a bus, they know um, exactly what this is. And they don't have to try to figure out, okay, well, what is really happening here? This is absolutely completely optional. Anything that's grayed out doesn't really matter in code. The, the browser or whoever comp whatever compiles the code just completely ignores it. Um, so you can do that if you want, you don't have to, uh, save, there you go. Although I strongly recommend having clean code and that's it. Now it works. There is just two little things left that you might be like, well, if I look at a preview, Andrew, it still doesn't work. Let's see here. Mm, still doesn't work. I don't see my radio buttons. Well, that's for two reasons. Reason number one is I didn't assign any products to this template yet. So, um, we're in the blue silk tuxedo. Sounds nice, a blue silk tuxedo. Um, these are the standard options by Shopify that you can just massive inload. I don't, I don't sell blue silk tuxedos. Um, tuxedos. Hmm. And right here, I can choose my product template. 
Now, where is my child product template? I just saved it and it's, it's, it's not here. The reason why is because my DOM team is not live yet. So we have to go back to online store. It's still in the debut team, so let's change that. This is the team we added all of the code on. This is our backup in case we messed it up. But let's take the one we added all of our code on. We're gonna do a publish. It's gonna ask us if we're sure to publish. Yes, we sure, because we have our backup team. And worst case, hey, Carson can help us out. Um, and then we're going to refresh here and it's still not gonna show up. But if I'm gonna go to products, why is it not showing up? Because it's still, you know, linked to the default template. But if I go to project products right here now, if I click on this button, there should be two options, the regular option and the custom option. And there is, I save that. Uh, I refresh this because this is the live team and look at that. Your name is blue, red or green. I could have probably changed this to a more appropriate field instead of your name, but you get the point. Again, if you have any questions, make sure to leave it down in the comments down below. And if you see any comments that you can help, please make sure to help out another Shopify store owner. If you're like, no, this needs to be answered right away, don't reach out to me because I can't really help you with this. Reach out to, hey, Carson, they specialize in small jobs. We don't specialize in small jobs. We do site speed optimization. And that's it. Make sure to like and subscribe to this channel and I'll see you in another video.